So we have to recognize these people. The economy doesn't recognize these people. They call it informal sector. Yeah. Informal sector means we have nothing to do with them. They are not part of the economy. Economy begins with the formal sector. We are busy with the formal sector. If we can only finance them, we can take care of them, pay attention to them. They will be moving up the ladder because they have the basic ingredients of them. And they know how to fight for their life. And they know how to make it happen. But we ignore them. They are the future. They are the future. Assets. They are where the money is going to be. There's where there's where the growth is going to be. But for some reason, then, the system is not interested in looking at them at all. They just system yeah, just because they don't exist. Absolutely, yeah. we followed the Western way of doing things in the financial system and the uh, economic system. So we didn't think about the vibrant uh, capacity of the people, countries like India, Bangladesh, and the region. They have the tremendous uh, tenacity to do things uh, and make things happen very creative way. Uh, yeah. That creativity has to be admired and supported. But government has stayed away. It's an informal sector. You have nothing to do. Rural economy has become an appendix to the urban economy. Again, a traditional Western way of looking at the economy is the hub of activities, and the rural economy is the supplier of the labor. It is the labor producing factory, mm -hmm. and they will be sending to their people to the cities to find a job. If you don't find a job, you you have a bad luck, and, and you rot there in, inside the city. Why can't we have the uh, economy of the rural area built as a separate parallel economy, autonomous economy? We are do, if we are doing something for people and people like it and people enjoy it, no matter how powerful you are, it's a temporary dislocation. Right. This will come back. You cannot stop it because it worked for people. Uh, and if it spreads, if you sp sp stop it in Uttar Pradesh, uh, in other state, in other places, it will spring up it, with more uh, strength than you have tried because it will come back with a big force to revive again because it works for people. It's, it's indestructible. Ideas, good ideas are indestructible. I think that if you don't come out of Corona with a new imagination, you've missed a huge opportunity, both as an individual and as a as a nation. So I said, coronavirus gave us a respite, gave us a window of thinking, and we and we have a choice now: whether we go to the terrible world, which is going to destroy itself anyway, or we go someplace else, which can build a new world where there'll be no global warming, no wealth concentration, no unemployment. It's possible.